Hi guys, welcome to Martin Made. My name's Stephanie and today I'm going to be giving you some of my favorite board games to play. Now this video is not sponsored by any of these people. I am not making any money off of showing you any of these games. I strictly am just doing this because these are my favorite games and we play board games quite a bit. We at every family get together, whether it's my husband's side of the family or whether it's my side of the family, we love to play games. Board games are like our favorite to play. We love card games. And so I'm gonna give you just a little snippet of some of the games that we like to play. Okay, so the first game that we absolutely love is called Exploding Kittens. Exploding Kittens is a game that um, I recently got and I got it for Christmas actually and we played it and it's kind of almost like a Russian roulette game where you have so many exploding kittens in the deck and you have all these things that you can do and you do not want to be one of the ones to draw an exploding kitten and this is quite the fun game um it's kind of fun because you can the last person is basically the last person left playing the game is actually the person that wins the game and so that one is a lot of fun um kids can play it adults can play it um as far as this one goes this one is age of seven and up um two to five players can play it but you can get expansion packs for it and and all the other one i like is ink and gold this one's a lot of fun you're explorers and you are going exploring in uh mayan ruins and you are trying to find all these gems and there's all kinds of things like snakes and spiders that can can get you and so um they they can get you and if you get caught by them then you lose the gems that you have and so you can either keep exploring or you can always just leave or you can keep you can keep exploring or leave and take the gems with that you have with you but if more cards get flipped over with the other players they'll get the gems that get flipped over with the cards and so ink and gold is really fun game it's by eagle what is it eagle gryphon something like that games and so that one's a lot of fun um to play the other game i like which most people probably have played this before is categories I love playing Scattergories. I'm not that great with Scattergories. Um, I have, it's a Hasbro game. And um, I have so much fun playing it, even though I'm never one to win. Do you ever have those kind of games where you just absolutely love playing them, but you never win those games? Well, that's one of the ones that I, <laughs> I play that I love to play, but I never really win. The other one that I have is Code Names. Code Names is by Vlada Shev Shevtil, I guess. It's called it's a um Czech Games edition. So, I have no idea if I'm saying any of that right. But it is a lot of fun. You have to play this if you can. It's more of a group game. Um you could play it. It's best with probably six people or more i would say four people it's just it's harder it's a lot harder with four people um basically you have a board that has a bunch of words and then you have a card that shows the same number of cards that you have laid out and you are trying to give clue a clue a one word clue to your teammates and they have to try to guess what words you are trying to get them to guess. 
Um, if they're right, you put your card, you have special cards that you put on top of those words. If you're wrong, it could be either um, a blue card, one for the other team, basically, um, or it could be uh, what they call bystander card, which is just, um, it's nobody's card. And, or it could be the assassin, which it then ends the game and whoever has the most cards down that they got the words correct wins. Then the latest game that we've gotten along with Exploding Kittens is Camel Up. Camel Up is a lot of fun. We have enjoyed this game. This is by Egert Spiel. Egert Spiel. I don't think I'm saying that. I'm sure I'm not. But that is what it says down at the bottom. Anyways, Camel Up is a game where everybody is kind of betting on this camel race. Who's going to win this camel race? And you have a few different things that you can do throughout this camel race. And um, you can decide on who's going to win that round. You can decide on who's going to win the whole game. You can decide on, um, you can roll the dice, you can uh, and move camels. But the whole idea is you're just betting on who's winning. And so that one's a lot of fun as well. Um, another one of my favorites is Game of Things. This one, let's see here, is called, it's by Play Monster. And this one you have um, little pieces of paper that you hand out to everybody. And each person has to respond to a, what, what is drawn from the deck. And the deck, it might say things people do when one is looking. And so you have to write a response as to what you think someone would do when someone is looking. And then you fold it all up and everybody gives it to one person. And that one person, they um, will read out all the answers and everybody has to take a guess until all the guesses have been guessed correctly. And whoever has the most guessed right wins. So that one's a lot of fun. Too. The other one, I have this. This isn't the actual um, startup one. Like, I, this isn't the actual, this is an expansion to the original game. You have to buy the original game in order to purchase these. And we have the original game, but I cannot find it anywhere. So I thought I would just show you here. But Catan, Settlers of Catan is a fun game. It takes a while to learn. You're basically people who are settling and you want to get the most points um, as you settle. The more cities you build, the more you points you get, the more um, settlements you build, the more points you get, the more like you can get points from cards and all, all kinds of stuff. It's very hard to explain all in one little short brief moment, but that is a lot of fun. I would suggest if you buy this and you don't know how to play it and you want to know, I would suggest looking on YouTube and finding a video that sits down and actually explains it to you um, well, uh, or and reading the instructions through as well, read them completely and thoroughly um, when you go to use it because it's a very difficult game to actually learn. Once you've learned it, it's so simple and it's a lot easier to explain to somebody but um, when you haven't ever played it before and you're trying to figure out how to play it, it can be a daunting game at first. And so my suggestion is to either play with somebody that knows how to play or play or watch it played on um on YouTube, watch somebody explaining it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. For those of you who are new to this channel, you can hit that red subscribe button down below. There's also a little bell that you can hit and that little bell will send you notifications telling you that I've uploaded a new video when I do. 
and also comment down below let me know if you like these games any of them if you want to know any more information about them let me know i can get that for you um i will try to put the information in for each of these games maybe a link to where you can purchase them um down in the in the de description box below and i will see you guys in the next video you have a lovely day bye